This is definitely a very important reaction. Remember, we call this hydration. We could call it hydration for two reasons. For one thing, water is attacking. But for another reason, if you think about the two things that end up adding across the double bond, we ultimately added an HO and an H, and those are the elements of water. So hydration is a very important reaction that you're sure to need to use in problems and on the test. The aspect of this that gave us difficulty was who to protonate in the first step. If we got a strong acid, we must protonate somebody. It's reasonable to protonate the water, but that doesn't give us the interesting product. So instead, we should protonate the double bond. We know that double bonds like to be at the tails of arrows. Let's actually show the mechanism for this reaction. That's good work. Okay. We know that the sulfuric acid doesn't start by protonating the water, or at least that's not interesting. We want it to protonate the double bond. We know that carbon carbon pi bonds are good things to put at tails of arrows. We want to put the positive charge on the more substituted carbon, not on the less substituted carbon. Then the water acts like a nucleophile. You might want to get into the habit of showing the sulfate produced in this step, because that's the sulfate that we use in the next step. Or maybe you already showed that. Excellent. Very good. You are right, you sure did. Good. So not only might you want to make that habit, but you have made that habit. And then the water comes in here. You showed the positive charge, so that was good. That explains why the water has to lose a proton. And this would be a good point to notice, as you did, that we're forming a stereocenter. And since we're forming a stereocenter by attacking something trigonal planar, we should form two different products. 
when we attack something trigonal planar, we get a maximum of two products. Do I need to add in? I didn't make the CH3 bond, but I have to, right? You didn't make I didn't, the I didn't, I didn't do it, like, um, wedges and dashes. Until the end. Until right now. Right. I need to have that for the CH3 bond, right? I'm not sure what you mean by like the... Before, like, I just... I just had it like this, and that's wrong, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that would be incorrect. So you should put both the methyl group and the water on wedges and dashes. That's right. Otherwise, it makes it seem like the methyl group is on the same plane as the ring, and the methyl group can't be in the same plane as the ring. If we deprotonate the OH on the wedge, we get this, and if we deprotonate the OH on the dash, we would get this. These are the products that you got. Are these the same or different? Yeah. They're definitely different. So we're definitely going to get two different products here. The big thing that gave us trouble again with this reaction is remembering who to protonate. We don't want to protonate the water, we should protonate the double bond. Now remember, when would you use this in a synthesis? When would this be a good reaction in a synthesis? Well, for one thing, when you're trying to put in an OH group. What, what type of functional group is this? Alcohol. So when we're trying to create an alcohol, when we're trying to create an alcohol on the more substituted carbon. When we're trying to create an alcohol on the more substituted carbon. 